Age of Empires 2 DE offers some variety in terms of the maps when you play ranked. However, many people prefer to do this and favorite Arabia or do this and favorite arena and then they just ban out all the other stuff. Now you can only do so many bans, but since the high level community is split up between Arabia players and arena players, rarely do you see some of the other maps at a high level. That's why I'm kind of excited to cast this one because we have a classic map, Yucatan, with two of the world's best. We've got Yo, we've got Veleza. Uh, Veleza, a top six player in my opinion. Yo, top six as well. We won't get into that whole conversation. But it's cool to see these two playing Yucatan. Um, if you're not familiar with Yucatan, Yucatan, you've got a lot of food. Okay, so you've got two berry bushes as opposed to just one. You've got lots of deer. Normally it's one big group of deer. Or maybe it's two separate groups. No, one big group of uh, seven deer. And then you have three boars and a bunch of extra turkeys. Basically, the way to break down Yucatan is to say it's very beginner friendly. Because in a standard map, you might not find all your sheep. Uh, you might not have enough food for different strategies. This, you can use the food to go for feudalage quite quickly if you'd like. Or you could use all that food to go castlage. Not to mention there's a lot of wood lines on this map. Which leads to a lot of walling and defensive play. Um, now... We're going to get into this and break this down. We've got Yo playing as the Aztecs. Aztecs are an insane civilization, particularly if they can get a couple walls down. I'd say, like, maybe the one weakness of Aztecs. And they're not really a closed map sieve, so it's a bit weird to explain this, but one of the weaknesses is if it's super open, because if it's really open in Feudal Age, civilizations that can go for stable units uh, can kind of wreak havoc on their base. So a semi-closed map is something that's going to suit the Aztecs quite well here. And now we have Veleza playing as the Sicilians, a civilization which is definitely one of the worst in the scene right now. Uh, they do have some cool bonuses, though, and we're going to get to see those bonuses at play. So the the weakness of the Sicilians is they don't really have a lot going for them early. So again, a positive for them here would be the fact that this is a map where you can wall up and take things much later in the game. Um, now, I want to talk a little bit about Yucatan as a map. Um, so, obviously, the queuing system, this, this way of doing ranked, it's very new to Age of Empires. Uh, that came with the Definitive Edition in 2019. That's been four years. Guys, I've been, I've been making content for way longer than that. Uh, but i also been playing the game even longer than I've been making content. So, I remember, and some of you guys might still play the game this way, just joining a lobby. So, you would look, see who, who's hosting a lobby, and it would be 1v1 Arabia, uh, 1v1 Black Forest, Vikings only, <clears throat> Fat Slob, um, or the occasional 1v1 Yucatan. And I'm not really sure, uh, like, if I hosted Yucatan first or if I saw somebody else playing it. I'm going to assume that I saw somebody else playing it. But at one point, I just kind of found out Yucatan was pretty fun for me. And I used to play Yucatan on Explored. So, you know, this normal Explore thing where you have to use your scout and look for things. I didn't play the game like that. And uh, I would just do explore it. I could see all the food. I would, I'm not going to lie, I would run forward, try and steal even more turkeys if I could. Well, that's a satisfying mill. Occasionally, the berries will generate in the same spot. That's beautiful. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I bring this up because I'm kind of curious on if you guys have a map that you used to play a lot. I think a lot of people used to be Black Forest. But I was wondering if there's any other Yucatan players out there. So, I wish I could find these recorded games, because looking back, this is just so comical to me. But I actually ran into this player once. Uh, this was on the HD edition, for those wondering, so this would have been 2013. Uh, I ran into this player. He would host 1v1 Yucatan and 1v1 Arabia. And he would play on Explored. And he would always just come forward and try and steal my sheep and steal a boar. And I would always try and return the favor. And it was just, we'd play nonstop back-to-back -back against each other, and it was just a pure lame fest. And looking back, it's funny to me that we would try and steal resources on a map where you have so much. Like, how greedy could we be when you've got three boars, tons of deer, and double berries already? Do you really need to have that much? Anyways, to the game itself here, my apologies for the little tangent. I, I'm curious on your thoughts on that, though. But um, we have Veleza, and you can tell he's kind of using these wood lines to wall up a little bit. Um, Just that one house, he can see the potential for walling here as well uh for yo he's had very good scouting of his wall potential as well easy wall off here if he wants to and he's actually going for a pretty fast uptime here he's going for militia right now and while i didn't really focus on it a ton here yo's done something that 
is possible due to the extra food, and he didn't place the mill as the second Dark Age building. Majority of build orders, you go lumber camp, mill, then you worry about the barracks, then you worry about the mining camp. He just skipped the mill. He's like, why do I need berries right now? There's no need for berries for me to execute man-at-arms. So his barracks was actually a second Dark Age building, which means he's got a full minute uh, you know, to, to head to the Imperial Age faster than his opponent. Now, Veleza sees this now. Veleza is also going to be going for infantry. So we're going to have an infantry showdown here. Uh, but Veleza maybe wasn't expecting this uptime. He's, he's thinking, okay, if I can match it, the Feudal Age Scout is stronger than the Feudal Age Eagle. And Veleza is really good micro. Now Veleza sees this, and you can tell there's a moment of like, uh, should I be here right now? What's happening? So fortunately for him, he can back away, and he could just wall up behind this. And Yo's going to drop an archer range. Now look at this, guys. There's a bit of confusion here on Veleza's part. Because he still thinks those villagers could be coming forward. He's going to drop a house there. She's like, I live here now. Sorry, army. And Veleza's looking. And he might be thinking there's a tower going up here. There's a bit of paranoia. So this aggression for Yo has paid off so far. In the end, Yo is still coming forward. But the fact that he backed away now is making the archers as his opponent confused. Anyways, Man at Arm upgrade is in for Yo. It's going to be in for Veleza as well. Veleza holding for now. And you can't make towers with the Sicilians, guys. You can make dungeons. Which is a bit stronger than a tower. But it's also more costly than a tower. Which is why the Sicilians do start with a bit more stone. I think it's also 75 wood for a dungeon. But anyways, archer range behind this for Veleza. So both players just going infantry archers in this game. But again, you know, it, it's fairly easy compared to your standard games for this to go late. So let's see how this goes. This is the first time I've casted Yucatan in a long time. Arrows don't hit anything. What What in the world? How does that villager not take losses? Yo's doing a pretty good job here. There's been a lot of conversation recently about projectiles in DE, which is why I said that the way I did. And okay, the other benefit of the dungeon is you could put more than five inside of the dungeon. So... You know, here we have Veleza. He's trying to kill a villager. He's going to kill a villager. Great counterattack. And he's actually going to sit his archer here. He's hoping to sit his archer in a spot where he can kill the man-at-arms. Because Yo was sneaky enough and ran through here. Now, it's a bit deceiving because the dungeon actually has more HP than the tower right now. But because the tower isn't showing flame, you you might think in Veleza's shoes that you're actually losing this battle. He's so annoyed by this man-at-arm right now. And he's got to be super careful, too, because he doesn't want to lose his archers to the tower. So he's he's kind of found a tight little spot there. Perfect spacing. These villagers get hit by a few arrows as well. But finally, stressful times, Yo is going to be able to... Or Velez is going to be able to push Yo away. Or actually, no. Oh my god, it's so close. It's super close. Meanwhile, we have the attacks here. There's so much going on. Oh my goodness. I'll keep you updated. Both towers are very much on fire. Man at arm looking for that. Villager killed. It's not going to get it. Uh, close. No cigar. Scout's dead. Over here, an archer died. And uh, in the end, I think what Veleza must have repaired there because he's up above 400 HP. A lot going on here. So much for this map being campy, right? Anyways, um, stressful times. We should start talking about different bonuses that civilizations have. Um, Sicilians, they get more food on their farm. So, like, more food on their farms after farm upgrades is what I should have said. So that's very nice. Uh, but we're not seeing a lot of farms right now, so I'm not sure if it's that exciting. Man-at-arms getting value. Just the craziness that Yo has turned this game into has actually hurt him in a way. Uh, Velez has done a pretty good job managing. But things are going to chill out now. And we're going to see these guys focus on their economies. Yo hasn't even taken berries yet, and he's just decided to come home with his archers. There are range units out there for Veleza, and Veleza's going to be hoping to get through. And Veleza's also hoping to kill a villager. Yo doing a really nice job, though. It's crazy, man. It's like a bit of a risky play there, but also a smart play if you can save the vill. This villager that's weak works just as effectively as a villager that's fresh. So Veleza lost his scout, and so did Yo. So they, they both are a little bit in the dark compared to uh, where they would normally be. This dungeon's still going to stand. Dungeons can create a unit uh, called the Sergeant, which we might see later on. And Yo, because he had scouted quite nicely in the early game, knows that there's no holes. 
scouted to the edge of the map here, scouted to the edge here. And so now he's fully walled, able to move out with his archers. Velez is hoping currently that this is open. And obviously that could be game changing, but it was got double mill, some on berry, some on deer. And then Velez a double mill as well. Obviously for him, he could just place one on his berries here. So, you know, Velez is not going to get through. We know that. But I, I do just want to say, I feel like Yo has done a better job, a slightly better job. Let's look at resources collected as I say it. Um, no, I'm, I'm wrong. But, okay, where I'm going with this <laughs> is I think switching into the farms, and maybe it's just because you're Sicilians, right? Because you get more food in your farms when you're Sicilians and you want to use your sit bonus. I think switching into the farms like, right now is maybe too early on a map like this. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, uh, never mind. He's got nine on berries. He's got six on deer, seven on deer. He's fine. I take it all back. Just needed something to talk about clearly. Archers for Veleza don't get in. We have a tower here from Yo, forcing a now a counter dungeon from Veleza. And Yo just wants to control the map right now. But yeah, you know, my, my thought process was... I think players, even at the highest level, can adapt their builds a bit more for a map like this. But as I look at it, and both their resources are climbing up towards Castle Age, it's looking pretty solid here. Uh, Donjon will continue to go up. We have a house deleted here. Veleza hoping to surprise Yo. He's got more range units than Yo. This is a big opportunity for him. And Yo says, boink, I'm going to sacrifice this villager's life so my friends survive. Really nice move there from Yo. That was huge, actually, because he he probably would have lost everything here. And then we have a forward villager from Veleza. So, kind of an awkward spot to be in right now if you're Yo, right? You're making a production building that is far away from all your other production buildings. He's got three separate spots. Now, I think for majority of levels on Yucatan, where we're not going to see as much feudal age aggression, I think we could even see it go late with walls between these little ponds. That is a lot of work, but the thing I want to point out is the neutral golds on this map. There's only two of them. I guess that's standard to other maps, but uh, that's it's notable because this version of Yucatan only has two golds per player. So those neutral golds, golds excuse me, become more important. Uh, they're on the sides here. So they're kind of on Yo's side. I'll see if Velez has scouted them. Yeah, he scouted this one. Doesn't know about the other one. I say this version of Yucatan. I'm not sure if tournament versions of Yucatan have changed that. Um, it is a bit weird, though, to have a map that's so closed off, and it allows you to go late in the game and then have so little gold compared to other maps. It's a bit unique. Normally, a closed map is going to have you know, more gold, if anything. Uh, Valeza maybe wasn't expecting all this. Tried to get his pickoffs here. Deleted the house. Going to rebuild the house there again. KD is 10 to 10 here. Yo is 40 seconds away from the next stage. Beleza, about 40 seconds as well. And he's now going to add a stable. Now, you know, stable unit, just, it feels so natural here up against the Aztecs. Even if you don't want to make knights or make anything for that matter, as Yo's making another tower. Um, you know, re regardless of what you really want to do in the long term with your main army, I think against Aztecs, when they they get 33% more gold per relic, I think you're going to want to have some scouts on the field, so the stable's always a good move. We actually have Bod Canero, and now Squires being researched here by Veleza, and I'm pumped, guys, because think about it. The opponent is making eagles. He's got three dungeons. If there was ever a time to not go for knights, not go for just like Gav, this would be it. So we're going to see the unique unit, the sergeant. Now, there's a, uh, there's a public preview build for the game right now. I don't know how much you guys pay attention to it. I have refrained on making a video on my thoughts on it just yet because it is a preview, and it does not mean that it will all be implemented into the game. In fact, there are some aspects and some things on this big patch that's going to come to the game that I heavily disagree with right now. So I'm kind of hoping that they tweak some things. But anyways, um, in that build, something that I'm excited about and do not disagree with is they're trying to make sergeants a bit more prevalent for the Sicilians. I have maybe been more critical of the design of the Sicilians 
than any other civilization, which is saying a lot for me, because they've had this unique building, and they've had this unique unit that can make more dungeons, that could do all these things, and they never really built it up to be viable, right? Uh, and then I think a month after the Civ was released and everyone felt like the Civ was kind of crap, they just gave them a tech which made their knights strong. Which, in a game with 42 civilizations, in a game where there's a lot of good knight civs, that kind of bothered me. So, I'm pumped to see what the Sergeants of Now can do. And here goes Veleza building away. This is what I want to see more of. And whether this works or doesn't work, we'll see in this game. But I, I do welcome further buffs or tweaks to allow the, the sergeants to be stronger. The reason I, I say it in the way I'm saying it is it, it's still like kind of a questionable unit. Like right now anyways, right? It's very slow. It only has eight attack. It's 65 HP. It is weaker than a longsword. And unfortunately for Veleza, he did not make a gate here or anything. So Yo's gonna get some value and be super annoying. The, the problem with infantry in general um, or like swordsman line infantry, which we can compare the sergeant to, is just their lack of speed. This is after squires. They are very slow compared to these eagles. But I will say good damage control here from Veleza. Problem is over here, he did lose the sergeant to a conversion. And he is now going to try and make another dungeon right next to the monastery because he wants to be able to take care of those monks. So a really interesting game. I do have more opinions. Uh, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to just say it now. The thing that... I'm most excited about with the Sicilians as we see more sergeants trying to get converted here. So these guys are unsure on if they should kill monks or if they should build. But it's you can make your dungeon as a prerequisite for an archer ranger stable. So instead of going barracks, archer range or barracks stable, you can go dungeon into archer range or dungeon and then make the stable, which I think is quite nice. We'll see. There's obviously some weaknesses to that because you can't make spears. Anyways, how annoying are Aztec monks, right? Aztec monks get more HP per monk technology researched. These things have 55 HP, so they've got as much HP as the sergeants pretty pretty much. And unfortunately for Veleza, he was unable to control this hill. And so Yo still controlling the hill there. Yo with three town centers behind this, really starting to add farms. His eco balance is all out of whack though. I mean, it's not pretty. 10 on food, 32 on woods, not what you'd normally expect from Yo. And Yo's going to scout now. So we could see the neutral gold on the left side. He also has now scouted the neutral gold on the right. Uh, for Veleza, Sicilian TCs do build faster. He's on three town centers right now. And he's showing no sign that he's really interested in switching out of the sergeants. But I think when you've seen this many monks, you have to consider going for Lycav here. I am excited for the future of the Sicilians. And I'm excited to see where this build-up goes, because let's think about the Sergeant. As we see the first wood upgrade for Veleza, yikes. Yikes. Um, anyways, I think that in the long term... Wait a second. <gasps> oh my god, he was trying to rebuild lumber camps to make the wood more efficient, so he deleted this lumber camp, but that was the wood upgrade lumber camp. Oh man, that's the most relatable thing you might see from a high-level player these days. You want to delete the old buildings which aren't helpful anymore. But he didn't wait for the wood upgrade to come in. So he is still working with Dark Age wood chopping efficiency. Really poor. I mean, Yo doesn't even have his Castle Age wood upgrade. Um, but yeah, so sergeants are a high pierce armor unit. Also, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe there's this interesting bonus where if you use First Crusade as the Sicilians... Your units, or maybe specifically the sergeants, also resist conversion a little bit. So there's a world where if you continue as sergeants and get to elite sergeant, which just gives you a massive spike in stats, um, and then combine that with some light cap, I feel like it would be very strong against what Aztecs would want to go for, typically. Anyways, Veleza, he is making the light cap, but he's going to have to fall back with these sergeants right now. Um, but, you know... I'm leaning towards, I obviously know part of where this game is going, right? So I'm leaning towards a unit that makes, you know, young, uh, would have made a younger me excited. Uh, a unit I used to make all the time. I talked at the start of this cast about how I love Yucatan and why I love Yucatan. Uh, or loved Yucatan, rather. Because of all the resources and I'm always going late and being pretty noob friendly. But 
You can see the unique units up here. We already have the sergeant on the right. Something that's pretty good against infantry could maybe be the Jaguar Warriors. We have the monks moving forward and the light cap. Can they do their job? It's against Aztecs. Dude, Aztecs are insane. Monks are insane? But Aztecs specifically are just insane. I think the micro could have been a little bit better there for Velez. Like, this one was one hit away from going down. But the fact that, you know, he's lost three light cap now and didn't kill all the monks... It really hurts there. But he does kill the siege. He does put it stop to the push. He keeps his dungeon up for now. And Yo is on the way to the Imperial Age, though. Yo wanting to drop a castle soon. And Yo doesn't really have a big military force right now. He's still just kind of focusing on monks. Kind of a risky move. He is going to end up losing these monks now. I do love the amount of vision that Yo has currently, though. It's very easy to make the proper decisions when your player is good as Yo. But you also have the scalping. So there should be no surprises for him. For Veleza, he doesn't have any vision over here. Like, look at all of Yo's buildings giving him vision here. Just the line of houses, the monastery, everything. And, of course, having three relics with the Aztecs is fantastic because you get so much extra gold from it. So, Veleza still hasn't clicked up to the next stage. Catching up on some eco upgrades now. Could easily use the market to click up here. And the beautiful thing about the Sicilians is you've got a pretty nice fallback in the First Crusade. If you have five town centers, you can click First Crusade, and you get seven sergeants spawning out of each town center with a max of five TCs that applies to. So you could get 35 units just like that. Your opponent doesn't have much military right now. A lot of sergeants would be great. And you also build castles very quickly if you need to recover. At the moment, for Veleza, he's just lacking space. It's, it's actually the downside of the map when you're playing at a high level. You simply do not have space right now. And Yo is mixing a couple Jags. Now, I used to love this unit because I just thought it looked cool. But they've got a lot of attack. They're very good against other uh, infantry units. So it would be a great unit against sergeants. But obviously, we don't know if we're going to see a full commitment to the sergeants right now from Veleza. Who hasn't overboomed here, but he's got the same vil count as Yo, but just it wasn't able to find the food. It felt like the eco balance was off. He just built a castle. Thankfully for him, he can build it very quickly with his civilization. But the fact that he just built a castle and then still has 1,200 stone in the bank, the fact that he just clicked Imperial Age and still has 1,000 gold in the bank, all signs that maybe the order wasn't there. But also Aztecs, their economy is very strong. And we do now have First Crusade for Veleza. I personally would just love to see another TC. It seems silly. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop this, the, the other TC. I think it's worth it. To get seven more units with your attack. Also, we're getting infantry upgrades. Let's go! Yo kills that monk because he saw the monk. Because the outpost was placed there. Fantastic stuff. Also, sees there's a castle going up here. Stonewalls this off and says, I don't want this to be an issue either. I'm going to stonewall this off as well. As meanwhile, he's just massing trebs between these castles. Even getting fortified wall here. Like Yo's doing some crazy things. So, here come the sergeants. They all spawn from the town centers, and suddenly, Yo's like, I've done so well here, and now this guy has 40 army. What on earth is this? Totally worth it. Now, is the unit good enough? We'll see. We're going to have Imp Armor coming in for these sergeants. There is a very big jump from regular sergeant to elite sergeant. I think it's, a, it's plus 3 attack. I think it's like plus 20 HP. I think there's definitely armor change involved as well. So anyways, here come those sergeants. And unfortunately for them, they were kind of blocked off there. And you could tell that there's some hesitancy from Veleza because he sees the Jaguar Warriors. And Yo now has elite Jaguar Warrior as well. So 12 attack, 75 HP, way more than the sergeants have. And then combined with the castle fire, I think you might hesitate taking these fights. But also at the same time, you're under a lot of pressure if you're Veleza. Do you feel like maybe, you know, there's no better time for me to take an engagement? Yo plays so smart, right? He plays with such control. Uh, as I say that, he actually takes a pretty bad fight, but... For now, it's just Jags, baby. Let's go. Jaguar Warriors and Cataphracts. They were my favorite unique units growing up. Alright, so Elite Sergeant's on the way. We also have Archer Ranges going up here for Veleza. Because Jaguar Warriors, as strong as they are against infantry or any form of melee... They really struggle against archers. Aztecs have some answers for the archers, but you have to make Yo work for it here, right? 
And so the army count was much higher for Veleza. Yo has since recovered. Elite Jaguar Warrior produced pretty fast. I think they buffed that at one point. You still rarely see them, but they did change that at one point. It's 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 really difficult to make the Aztecs any stronger. So you don't really want to make Jaguar Warriors more prevalent because of all the other bonuses the Aztecs have. Listen to these things go to work, man. The monks are just standing there. The Jaguar Warriors are melting these archer ranges. And this castle was a necessary castle because this castle needs to keep these archer ranges up, essentially. We do have the Trebs over here for Yo now on the next castle for Veleza, who still has good population. He's just getting picked apart here. And Yo getting more monk upgrades now, ready to convert buildings. He's on 33 Jags. It's only 8 Arbalest right now for Veleza, but at least he's going for Arbalest. Velez has to delete the Siege Workshop as well. So Velez has just... He's backed into a corner. Also, he's going to lose this castle. Yo. Uh, to that trebuchet there from Velez. Very well played. So both players trading castles. Yo dropping another one, though. Again, he's found this stone. He's found this gold. And there's villagers headed over to this gold as well. He's even getting Garland Wars. So he got full blacksmith upgrades to give him plus four attack on his infantry. Garland Wars is an additional plus four attack on infantry. 12 plus 8 attack. So these sergeants, they, they can't really do much now. What is nice is they have 8 pierce armor. And the pierce armor is only 5 for a jag. So there is a difference when going up against ranged units. But in the melee engagements, the jaguar warriors will shred. But honestly, the composition for Veleza has a lot of uh, potential here. Because he's got quite a few arbalests now, right? If he's got like 30 arbalests with the sergeants, I think the sergeants kind of get destroyed on the front lines. But if you pull them back, kite them from side to side, and just hope that they don't die as quickly, do whatever you can to, to just distract with them, I think it can work well. And he wants to move out now. He's close to Popcap. He's going to take the fight. Let's see how it goes. I, I think Veleza made a mistake there. I think engaging on the monks, I, I can understand it, but I think as an incorrect play, you need to be engaging on the Jaguar Warriors. They do die to these archers, but oh man, the Trebs were expecting that fight to be a lot better so they could move out and yo clears this up and Veleza he still has the Arbalest on the way but he just taps out here he just I think he took so many bad engagements in this game and he's felt so cramped because like look at his point of view again he sees walls over here he sees outposts over here he tries to move out for a second and he just gets pushed back he just felt like there's no way I win this game and uh yo just he did all the right things. What I thought was really cool about Yo's play this game, obviously Aztecs are, are a bit better as well, but you know I think Sicilians could have had some potential. But anyways, I think what Yo did a really good job of was just getting vision. The towers didn't kill his opponent, but it gave himself some control over the game. And I mean, look at the amount of control and vision he had from this point onward, right? He's never going to be surprised. So he gets to decide when to take the fights. And ultimately, he took a really good fight there. I think Veleza was in the dark. He didn't know that Yo had Garland Wars, possibly. And he wasn't expecting Yo to pounce when he did. Uh, and you guys will know this. Like, I think it's so easy for us when we watch a game to forget this. But sometimes you, you take a bad fight because you weren't ready for it. And I think for Veleza, he was hoping to be able to push out you know, deploy the traps here at the very least, and then wait for more units to regroup. And unfortunately for him, it didn't happen. Also, just realizing, you know, missing Bracer as well. How does that... Are, is that is that real? Whoa, what? Hold on a second. I could have sworn I saw this. So, Capture Age says he has Bracer. The units here say Bracer. And that... I must have been at a different point in the game. Okay, I must have been at a different point of the game. We are not going to edit that out. That is extremely embarrassing, but that makes more sense. I thought Capture Age had removed a technology or something. I thought maybe it was a bug. Anyways, GG. Let me know what you think about the map, Yucatan. It wasn't the longest game ever. It was a pretty good cast, though. Um, I think for Veleza, it was a little sloppy at times compared to Yo. Yo is just super consistent, right? You have to be spot on with every single decision you make. Um, there have been some really good Yucatan games that I just haven't found time to bring to you guys yet. Games that do go late. There's civilizations here that thrive that you don't see do too well these days. Like Mongols, for example. There's so much hunt. Mongols can be amazing. The Cumans, 2TC Boom, 
in Feudal Age with all the food you have can be really strong. And then you have a lot of like potential for castle drops and whatever else. So uh, if I can find the time this week, I'm going to cover more Yucatan games. Uh, still taking a week and a half, two weeks to chill a little bit. So I've just spent pretty much every day, guys. It's been pretty nice for me, actually. I could get used to it. I just get on, uh, record a video for you guys, cast it. Usually I do it in batches because it's just more efficient for my time. But uh, I will I will find some time to find more games for you. I've, I've kind of enjoyed this whole everyday feel of coming on and talking to my YouTube community. Again, it's weird because for you guys, it, you're like, there's no difference for me. I get on every day, and if there's a video, I watch it. But occasionally, like I said, it's not a day-to-day -day thing for me, and I've kind of enjoyed doing that. And it, it might be something I should do more frequently going forward because I feel like I'm a little bit more connected and can talk you guys through things and can relate it to content maybe we've had earlier on in the month or something. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for all the support. Uh, here's a quick look at the resources collected at the very end. Only a 3,000 resource difference there. Um, even the KD was very close. It was just all about the momentum and the position that Yo had. But it was a fun one, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.